Right, hi everyone. Welcome down to my maths lesson this Tuesday. Just turn myself off on here. No one wants to hear that. Okay. Um, sorry. Welcome again to the lesson. Uh, we're going to get started in five minutes or so, uh, starting at 10 o'clock. Give people a chance to get down to the lesson. Have your pen, have your paper ready, and we're going to get started soon. Good morning, everyone who's down uh, already in the chat. Good morning. Uh, let's have a look there, Seb. Good morning, Evie. Morning, Nicola. Morning, Charlie. Morning, Amelia. Morning, Milo. I saw in there. Morning, Vinny. Um, morning to everyone. Morning, Miss Allison's in the chat there today. Brilliant. Good morning, Miss Allison. Um, morning, Sydney. Morning, Jude. Morning, everyone. We we'll get started in a couple of minutes or so. Like I said, you need your pen, you need your paper, and we'll get going. Part please. just my head like Miss Shaw. Computer. Yes, I'm on the computer, that's why my head is just down here. Okay, I haven't got a chair at the minute. My old knees are killing. Morning, Isabel. Morning, Leah. Morning, Jacob. Good morning, Isabel, other Isabel. Morning, Drew. Morning, Alfie. Good to see you all down. We'll give it a couple of minutes. And we'll get started. Morning, Millie. Isabel, I'll talk about the particular fences soon. I'm all getting there. Let's just say that. Morning, Francis. Francis, can I just double check that is your name and not using someone else's account? Because I'm sure before you told me it was someone else's name, so I don't want to be saying hiding the wrong name. Morning Freya, morning Christian, morning Sophie, morning Leila, morning Heidi, morning Iris. William saying good morning to you, not me, disgraceful. Right, okay. So 10 o'clock, so we're gonna get started. Just get this open. And I'll close my door in case the rabbit escapes. Right, all good to go then. So, uh, Tuesday, 10 o'clock, and um, we'll start the lesson now. A uh, quick thing, a couple of things to go over before we get started. Um, someone asked how the dance is coming. Uh, if you don't know, I'm learning a TikTok dance because someone won a competition last week. Well, two people did, so I'm learning two. And um, I'm trying to learn Renegade. I think I've got all the moves, but I can't do them quick at the minute. So it's coming. Um, and I want it to be all right before I put it up. Okay, I don't want to just put a terrible one up because then point the other person who won. So I'm trying every afternoon. That's what I do on my work, school. And then after I finish that, I start practicing the dance. Okay, so don't say I don't do anything. Um, so yes, that's coming along. Um, and let's see, my school keep on reading plus, keep on my athletics, because once I've done these two dances, I'll be picking someone else from those. Um, as always with all the lessons, if you're new, welcome. Good to have you down, okay? We're going to go through something today. All we need pen and paper for the lesson. Then there will be worksheets and stuff afterwards. I'll tell you where to get those. Um, all the other lessons, if you are new, are accessible. Um, they're all on my YouTube channel. You can get to them anytime. Click on them, and the work is still all up for them as well. So if you prefer doing those and just doing worksheets and things like that, they are still there for you. Um, and I will stay around after the lesson to give you a bit of a hand if you struggle with anything 
that we have done today. A uh, couple of rules about the chat, okay, make sure we're keeping on task with that, make sure we're answering questions, okay, uh, make sure we chat with a friend, catch up and stuff like that. In the chat for and after, make sure we're keeping it for um, the lesson. Don't be annoying people, don't be, I've seen a few people like spamming things, stuff like that. We've got moderators in the chat, Miss Allison this morning, I think, I think Miss Cook's in there as well. Sorry if there's anyone else that I haven't noticed. Oh, Mrs. Rice is in there as well, I've just seen. So good morning to those. They will just tan you out or hide you from the chat if you keep doing that, okay? Which means you can't really get an interact with the lesson, which isn't what we want. You can still watch it, we can't interact. Um, and if you do need any help or anything after the lesson, or if there's something that you're really struggling with that you want help with, pop it in the comments on the video for me, please, okay? Because the um, the chat goes back quite, quite quickly and it doesn't save. Um, so I can't go all the way back through it for the hour. So I'll only pick it up really if it's in the comments. Um, lastly as well, I don't know if you mentioned this, but if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, that will really help get these videos out and help as many people as we can. We do always have people who just dislike the video before it's even started and stuff. It always happens, it's the internet. So if, you can, if you're watching the video and it's helping you, please like it, that'll really help. Um, just make sure I've went through everything. Da, da, da. Yeah, socials. So if you do need any help or you need to get in contact, if you want any news on the lessons, things like that. My socials, Mr. Biggers123, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And remember this week on Friday, 3 or 4, we're doing the Stay at Home Street Party. Brilliant pack done by Mrs. Carthy that you can download from our Padlet, which you get the link for when you give you the link for the worksheets. Um, and as well as that, obviously, I'll be playing music from 3 to 4 live. Um, and I've ordered a microphone. OK, so I can give you your shout outs for all the songs that you're requesting. So please get your song requests in. Again, you can comment on this video or send them to me socials uh, and I will get them. If you put them in the chat, I'm probably not going to see them. OK, and I'll try and get as many people's songs on as I can. It means we'll all come together, even though we're apart, which I think is a really big thing. We get lots of people there, invite your families. And um, so you're all at the same party, technically, um, at the same time, even though you're in your own houses. It would be absolutely brilliant to see people there. Uh, and last one before we start with our Fluminton Five um, is mention the Kahoot champions from last week. Now this week there isn't a Kahoot um, because the questions that we are doing are, well we'll find out when we get there. Um, but we did have a Kahoot last week for the lesson that we did. So we had a quiz and obviously like I say I normally shout out the top three. But one, two, three, four, five people got 100% on the quiz. Really, really well done. Um, and those five are, okay, Amelia C, well done, Jack S, well done, Jude G, well done, Millie C, well done, and Milo M, really, really well done, everyone, 100% on that, everyone put, uh, uh, had a go at the quiz, brilliant, it was um, some really good scores in there, but obviously, it's really hard to get close to 100, isn't it? So, we're going to start, as always, with Fluent 5, to uh, up our mathematical brains, okay, um, I'm going to put them on. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six questions. You'll have five minutes to do them. As soon as I've wrote the first question, I will start the timer and you can start. OK, so seven, six. Five, seven, five. OK, so that's your first question. I'll write them all down. You've got five minutes. I'm going to start it now. Um, I'll put the other questions up as soon as I've started the timer. Where is it? Here. And go. Remember, it's all about doing better than last week. If there's any that you don't know how to do, just leave those ones out. Focus on the ones that you do know. Got some fractions this week. Try and catch you out. See if we remembered our fractions. That one's a little bit harder. And your last one. Those are your six questions that we currently have. Let's have a look. It's about one minute twenty is gone. Right, 
when you're doing trying to think of your strategies that you're using, which ones are going to get the answer quicker. Okay. But right, that's the main thing, okay? To get them all down, get all six questions done, double check them, triple check them. Don't want to be losing marks or silly mistakes. Okay, remember it's always about being better than the last time that you did this, okay? So don't worry about getting full marks or anything like that. Unless that's what you want to get and you think you can get, brilliant. Worry about being better than you were last time. Have a look at the timer. Just got just under three minutes left. Just under three minutes. Just to let moderators know, I have got my messenger open if you need to get in contact with me. Just have half your time there. write something on the board it might help you if you're thinking Just pop the answers down on a piece of paper there, Stephen. Okay, we'll go over them afterwards. Well done, Isabel, there, double checking. Yeah, good point from Mrs. Rice there. Even if you don't know, have a go, okay? If you leave that answer blank, you're always going to get zero marks. If you have a go, you've got a chance of getting it, haven't you? Even if it's not a big chance, because you don't know how to do it, better than a G zero. You've just got under a minute now. Okay, just under a minute. If you've double checked, time to triple check. Okay, these ones, I think, where you think, oh, there is really easy. It's just a takeaway. Those are the ones where you're going to make your mistakes. Um because you're rushing through them quite quickly, okay? So those are the ones where it's good to double check. Sometimes it's better to double check the easier ones because those are the ones that you go through quicker. The harder ones, you tend to spend more time on, okay? So don't think, ah, oh, them, them are easy. I'm not going to double check those ones. 20 seconds left. And just under 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Pop your pencils down there now. Don't worry if you didn't finish them all. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to move this light. I just noticed it's on the screen. Um, sorry, I'm just waiting for the delay to pick it up. We're going to go through the answers now. Today, when I go through the answers, Okay, just check that. Today, when you go through the answers, um, I'm going to go through a little bit quicker than normal. And that is because um, I want to get through a little bit more today. So I'm going to go through them a little bit quicker than I normally would. Um, and so I'm not going to do the working out for these ones. If, you, if there are any questions uh, or you don't understand how I work out some of the answers and I went a bit too quick, um, all of these questions here, here, sorry, I have example videos on my YouTube channel that show you how to do each one of these things. So if there's anything that you're really struggling with, you can have a look at. So your first one, your answer was 19032. 19,032 was your answer. Um, should not, but if you, um, you should have had lots of practice actually of takeaways, but if not, I've got an addition and subtraction um 
a video on my YouTube channel. Um, here we will have worked out 169 remainder 9. If you got a decimal point, well done. Okay, that's work that we look at in secondary school. Some of you might have done it in uh, in maths when you're looking at it, but we only need remainders at the minute when we need a 5, 6. So it's 169 remainder 5. I wrote these down here because to work it out, we'd have used our multiples of 25. Now, 25 is 1, that's quite easy that we can count. Okay, but... Um, you can write them down just to make doubly sure. That's what I would do, make sure I'm not missing any out. And then we had one seventh plus four sevenths. When the denominators, the numbers on the bottom are the same, all we do is add the top one. So one seventh, add four sevenths is five sevenths. Okay, so these should have been quite quick ones. But no one added rather than took away. That's what a lot of people do. So eight tenths take away seven tenths is one tenth because of the same denominator, the same number on the bottom, just eight take away seven. Um, this bottom one there, we would have to make the denominators the same, so it's an easy question for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the denominator and multiply the numerator by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. So that's why I'm times it by 3 to make um, the number the same. What if I do at the bottom? I can do at the top. I have to do at the top, sorry. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay. Again, if you need a bit more help on that one, I have got an subtracting video, uh, fractions video on my YouTube channel. So that would give me six ninths. So you would have that as a right answer. If you were doing an arithmetic test, you would have that. However, it's, it said put it in its simplest answer. You would have to simplify that. So well done if you got two thirds, okay? Because there are, when divided by three, okay? There are three threes and nine, and two threes and six. Again, simplifying fractions, there's a video on my channel. Haven't got time to go through them all day. And your last one is 240.5, okay? We did those the last couple of weeks. We've moved everything up one place because we've got one zero in place value. So we move them all up one place in place value. Um, so all the numbers in the same order, 2405, 2405. They've moved up, okay? You're not supposed to say it, but I always do. If you find it easier, I'll oh, move the decimal point. You can move the decimal point. The decimal point doesn't technically move, but if it helps you and you get the right answer, why is it wrong? Okay. Always about getting the right answer. So well done to those. I'll put the chat on, see how people are saying they did. Okay. And if there's any questions that you didn't get right, as long as you now know what you did wrong, brilliant. If you don't know what you did wrong, like I said, maybe check one of the videos I've got out that help with those. And then what you want to do is make sure you don't get it wrong next time. That's the important thing. Okay, so some scores coming through. People getting some good ones. Five out of six. Three out of six. Five out of six. Good work, okay? Good work. Like I said, it's all about getting better, about doing better than last time. So, we are going to have a quick recap of something that we mentioned last week. So, today we're gonna finish off looking at 2D shapes, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the last little things on them, okay? We're gonna have a little bit of a look at uh, perimeter and composite shapes. And then we're gonna do some reasoning and problem solving. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that together. So we're gonna look at how to approach those questions. And we're gonna move on to something new next week. So, we mentioned these last week. I'm gonna draw sets of lines on the board. Now what I want you to do in the chat, can you put the letter, okay, of the lines, okay, that are parallel, okay? Can you put down the letter of the lines that are parallel and we've got one more um, let's do one more just because I've got another colour and that's how I roll nice bit of pink okay Write in the letter of the chat, which, let's think, blue, red, 
which layer lines there are parallel, okay? And if you've wrote it down in the chat, I'm about to check now, can you explain why they are parallel? Okay, what are parallel lines? What does parallel mean, okay? Pop that down in the chat as well, if you've already got the letter. So let's have a look. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of answers there. Gonna shout out the people who have got right, oh, some of them because there's that many. Uh, Emily, Drew, Nicola, jo uh, Joseph, Tom, Ollie, um, blah, 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 Isabel, Alfie, Billy, Cameron, Aya, ooh, so many, William, Emily. Do me a favour, when you pop an answers in, uh, just pop them in once for me, okay? Otherwise, you might get timed out just because I can scroll so I can see. So if I didn't see it the first time, I will go and there's a lot of people to get through. So, Caitlin, Sam, um, I don't know, well, I don't know, I've got the first answer in there for what parallel lines are. So lots of people have given me C. So well done, Isabel. Sunset game is safe, they aren't touching but straight. These lines aren't touching but the straight. These lines aren't touching but the straight. Okay, there's only these two that are touching. So can you improve your definition there and change it? Because I know exactly what you mean, but it's not exactly true, is it? Well done, Alex. Brilliant, good to see you along there. Well done, Joshua. Well, really good. I'm going to use Lucy's example um, in order to explain it. She said, if you kept drawing them, they would never touch. That is brilliant. Parallel lines are two lines where if we kept drawing them, now mine are a bit wonky because I just drew them quickly, but the two lines where if you keep drawing them, they would never meet. If I kept drawing them, those two, they would eventually meet, wouldn't I? Those ones, those ones. Any ones, unless they're exactly, okay, so you can have them facing any direction. It could be that way, could be that way, but if you kept drawing them, they would never meet. That's parallel. Now, this one might be a bit harder because we haven't mentioned this one before. Can you write down the letter of the lines that are perpendicular? Okay, I'll write down that word, perpendicular. Um, I'll use black, so it doesn't look like I'm giving you a clue with the colour. So which one is, and I'm going to make sure I spell this right, perpen, yes it is. Perpendicular. Okay, which lines are perpendicular? You might not have heard that before. That's absolutely fine. If you have heard it, pop it in. If you haven't, have a guess what lines could be perpendicular there. Um, there might be more than one, there might not be. And let's have a look. So I'm just catching up with the chat there. So lots of people are getting the right answer. Can you now then pop in the chat what are perpendicular lines then? There's lots of people saying that it is. Let's have a look. They say that's E. We've got Billy, Alex, Leah said E and D. No, you've got one of them right there. Alfie, uh, Ollie, Amelia. Good Heidi having a go there because you've ended up getting it right. That's what we talk. Cameron, yeah, it's E. Okay, so E is perpendicular. So how can we explain what a perpendicular line is? So someone said they're lines that will eventually meet. Okay, well, these will all eventually meet, won't they? And these do meet. So that means we'd have more than E. Okay, so it's something a little bit more than that. On both sides, some good ideas. Not where two different lines touch, because remember, we've got F as well, and F isn't perpendicular. So it's not just where two lines touch. What um, perpendicular actually means is where two lines meet, okay, at a right angle, okay? So if we drew, there'll be two right angles either side, okay? So if this line was drawn like that, that's a little bit off and we've got two other angles, okay? That's not perpendicular. Perpendicular is where two lines meet and they are, have a right angle either side. So always, so we could obviously have them like that as long as both angles either side are perpendicular. So that's what perpendicular is. Now, again, it's good to know those ones because in questions it might say these lines are parallel or perpendicular. And if it says it's perpendicular, you know that you've got two angles in a shape maybe or something I'm trying to find straight away, okay? So that is really, really uh, helpful. Okay, so quick recap there we've just done are perpendicular and parallel lines. Really well done. A lot more people than I thought got that perpendicular. Okay. So I'm really impressed. 
Um, now, what we are going to look at today is um, we're going to start looking a little bit at perimeter. Okay, so we've looked at shapes, so we're going to look at perimeter of shapes. Again, pop in the chat, what is perimeter? Okay, so we are going to be looking at perimeter. So pop that down in the chat, what is perimeter? Okay, so I'm just going to be drawing a shape while you're popping those in the chat. Let's just draw a rectangle. Again, I don't need a ruler because I'm too messy and I rub out my shape. I need to practice with that. Imagine all these lines are. Pardon me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> all those lines are straight, okay? So I'm just going to pop in our right angle so you know. So perimeter, let's have a look in the chat. Have people mentioned what it is? I'm going to see. Some really good examples I'm looking for. Well done, I'm going to use Millie's definition because lots of people got to mention the outside the shape and things like that. So the perimeter is the uh, sum of all the sides of a shape. Okay. Now, lots of people say, oh, it's the, the length around the outside and stuff like that, because they're talking about there, which is absolutely fine if that's how it helps you remember. But remember, the outside, we could be going right here, couldn't we? So it'll be longer length. So the actual um, perimeter is the length of all the sides. So we'll add that side, that side, that side, and that side together. So um, if we had this rectangle, okay, is a rectangle, and we had, let's just do something really easy two meters remember shapes are ha never drawn to well sometimes they are but it will say but if unless it says they're not normally drawn to scale um we have that can you tell me what the perimeter would be of that shape so i have a rectangle there and we have five centimeters five centimeters two oh, meters sorry I'm not trying to trick you, I'm just, it's too early, okay? So, five meters, five meters, two meters, two meters. What is the so, What is the perimeter? So the sum of all the sides, so we need to add all the sides together. So can you work it out? Some people, be able to work it quickly. Most people get it there. Sydney, Alex, Jude, Millie, Jake, Bees, Cam, 9333. Tom, William, Vinny, Eleanor, Ali, Emily. Well done. Yes, it's 14 metres. Okay, I've got ways to do it. Someone said 5 plus 6, 7 and count it round. Someone said double 5 is 10 and double 2 is 4. So it's 14. But yeah, that's what basically what perimeter is in its simplest form. So see, we've still got a rectangle. A lot of times when we get questions on perimeter, it will test what we know about shapes as well. So rather than give us all the sides, um, it will give us uh, two of the sides. So let's say it gave us, um, the color, sorry, let's say it said, this is a rectangle and we have three centimeters. Oh, can I say really well done as well, putting the uh, unit in, because a lot of people forget that. So everyone put meters in, even though I uh, mix them up. So we've so got three centimeters here. So we've got, um, seven centimeters there it won't give you all the sides but it'll ask you the perimeter okay so we've got to use what we know about shapes in order to work out that perimeter pop it in the chat for me so we know okay now this is an easier one with our rectangle and one that you'll have tackled loads of times before okay it will ask us what we know about shapes we know that a parallel sides on a rectangle here okay, are the same length aren't they so we've got three, so we know that this one must be three. We've got seven, so we know what that one must be seven. So it doesn't give us all the sides, but it gives us much, enough information to work out the answer. Let's see if everyone got the answer. Well done, Isabel, Alfie, Caitlin. So I'm just seeing the names I see as they come up. Um, that's the one we've got a quick. Lucy, Milo, Christian. Oh, Christian just wrote and. Sorry, I'm just trying to say them. Uh, Chloe, Stephen, Millie. 
Heidi, Sydney, brilliant, all really, really well done. Um, yeah, it is 20 centimetres, it's two sevens. So rather than put on the side, you might want to, if I was doing this in a test, I might do some jotting. So I might go, all right, well, I know that one's three, and I know that one's seven. So seven times two is 14, and three times two is six. So that means it's 20. Now, the reason I'm doing those jottings, if I was doing it in a test, okay, is I might, I can do that in my head, okay? I knew that was 20, uh, um, 20 centimetres. But if I'm going back to double check my paper, or double check my answers after I've done it, if I've just done it in my head, I have to work out the whole thing again, okay? But if I put my jottings on, I can see exactly what I've done. And if I made a mistake, so say if I had that, okay, when I go back through my answer, I can see, all right, what did I do here? Right, that's seven, that's three, that's right. Two times seven is 50. Wait a minute, that's wrong. That's 14. So that's 20. So when we say in double check, it doesn't, you can help yourself by doing jottings as you're going through. So please, please, please get in the habit of making little scribblings, even if you can do it in your head, okay? It is impressive you can do it in your head, but it's more impressive to get more right answers and double checking is something that helps you do that. Okay. Charlie, apparently, when we don't my perimeter, said the measurement around the outside of a shape. So, well done, Charlie. You have got it there. Um, right, okay. So, again, we're going to work out the perimeter of this shape. Now, I'm going to draw this. I'm just, just drawing a freehand. So, it might be a little bit off. But what I am drawing here is a regular octagon. Okay, now in the chat, tell each other what a regular octagon is because it's going to help you to find out this answer. Last week we looked at regular and irregular shapes. So that is a regular octagon, okay, with a curved side for some reason. We know that octagons only have straight sides, okay, monkey sides. Right, you get what I mean, okay. So that's a regular octagon, okay. Regular octagon. Um, and I'm going to put this on three, let's say it's a massive one kilometers. Okay. What is the perimeter of that? If you're not sure what a regular octagon is, have a look at the chat because I'm going to have a look now. I'm going to tell you whether someone has got that right. So a rectangle was an easier one. Now, this is the one that's a little bit harder. But if we know, if we remember what we were doing last week about regular shapes, it's actually quite easy. Brilliant. Joshua there. First one I've seen. Um, and Leah and um, Stephen, a regular shape is a shape where all the sides are the same and all the interior angles are the same as well. So lots of people put that. So that's what you need to find out the answer. OK, so if all the sides are the same and all the angles are the same, then we know how to work this out, don't we? OK, people already starting to pop it in the chat. If we know all the sides are the same, then we know. OK. Ooh. That they must all be three. Okay, and I can see them popping through there now. Well done, Milo. Well done, Caitlin. So that must mean we do three times eight. Remember, we talked about efficient strategies. I'm not going to do three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. The more steps I take, the more mistakes I might make. Okay, if I know my times tables, that might be really, really quick. Okay, if you don't, I would practice them as much as you can. Okay, but if I don't, I would say, all right, well, I know my five times table. Five times three is 15, and then count on another three from there, okay? Always use the table that you're strongest at to help you find. Or you might use 10, 10 times three is 30, and take away two threes to go back to eight, okay? So use an efficient strategy. But we know, because um, you all put it down, three times eight is 24 kilometers. So the perimeter of that shape would be 24 kilometers. So when you get on the worksheets, there are questions, might be questions like that. If it tells you the regular shapes, we can work out the perimeter because we know all about them. Now, what we're going to look at now is something called composite shapes. OK, now composite shapes uh, sound again like maths, like English. They sound a little bit more harder to understand, but they're actually something quite easy. So composite shapes okay we're still looking at perimeter okay but we're looking at the composite shapes the perimeter of composite shapes so i am going to draw the steps i'm going to draw a composite shape okay um K 
here imagine all those sides are straight so that is a composite shape who can tell me what the composite shape is and i'll give you a little clue okay i could put that line down there don't have to but do you work out what a composite shape is i'm going to put that line down there okay um teachers in the chat would you be a pop a message some people who got it right of who were a composite shape uh, what a composite shape is sorry as i do it so i'll see who got the answer there but a composite shape is a shape that's made up of two shapes put together so you can see this could be that rectangle that we have there and that rectangle that we have there and you put them together and it's one shape so a composite shape is a one made up of more than one shape now you might get questions again on the perimeter of composite shapes so it's still the same it's still the sum of all the sides around there okay so um if we had all the sides it's easy okay we just add all the sides up the same as we would and that's not a hard question just because it's not a square or a rectangle or anything like that that's not a hard question okay what is a little bit harder is sometimes they might not give us all the sides and with our normal shapes that can be quite easy to work out okay i'm going to put some uh, dimensions on here let's go with meters this time and with this one you tend to get the arrows along the sides because it will help us to visualize the missing sides so i'm going to do this and these are going to be my missing sides i'm going to have a here and b there can you tell me in the chat pop down what a and b is if you don't know and you don't know how to work it out that's fine just hold your horses just wait and i'm going to go through this one just let's have a look who can work out what a and b is without me going through first who can remember this who's done this and is refreshing their skills rather than doing it so we have most of the sides but we are missing two now a question if it's asking you what a and b is it will always give you enough information to work out what the missing sides are they're not going to give you questions where it's impossible to get the answer impossible to work the answer now we can't measure them because obviously no that's not four meters that's not 10 meters that's not three that's not 12 okay it's not drawn to scale which means the exact size so um let me in my head quickly work these out because i haven't worked them out yet yeah brilliant so we're starting to get some answers through there Some really good answers. Well done, Amelia. Well done, Millie. Cameron, well done. Do B first, then E, just to try and confuse me. I'm catching you. Uh, well done, Isabel, Leah, Jude. Okay. Really good answers there. So we've got it out. If you couldn't work it out, you're not sure. Let's watch now to see what we find out. So we have got let's see what color i'm gonna get right with this one okay so we have got other sides and we're going to use those to work out what this missing side here is so i can see if i continue this side down because it's a composite shape it's made up of two shapes so now what i've done is i've cut that shape into a rectangle haven't i okay so if that's a rectangle i know that this length all the way down for this side is 10 meters now, because this shape is a, um, not a square, it's a rectangle. This should be a little bit longer. I apologize about that. Because this is also a rectangle, I know that these opposite sides are the same. So this one is three meters. I don't know why I drew my M on the side. So that is three meters. Okay. So if this full thing's 10 and I've got three there, I can work out how much that I have left. So 10 take away 3 means A must be 7 metres, okay? Because the full amount was 10, okay? That full amount there is 10, and I've already got 3 of it, okay? So what is missing? What is my missing? That's what I've done there. Now I'm going to do B, I'm going to rub these out. 
just because I'm running out of space in my shape. Okay. Now I need to work out B and I'm going to have a look at some other lines. So I know I'm going to continue the line on this way now. Okay. And you can see that that's still a rectangle. So if this is 12, then I know that this full amount here is 12, doesn't it? Which includes B. So I now know that my full amount is 12. Okay. Now, if I go down. Thank you, Mrs. Cathy. If I go down, okay, I know that this side's going to be the same, so that's going to be four meters. So if I've got four meters there, okay, I apologize if the shape's a little bit smaller, I'll make it bigger on the next one. If that shape fits four, I need to think, right, what am I missing to make 12? So eight and four is 12, isn't it? So B equals eight. I was going to write 12 there. B equals eight meters, okay? So you can see I've used the other sides. And this can be quite tricky, so don't worry if you don't get a first time. Um, again, with this one, we're going over a couple of questions and we're going to move on. But there is a video on my channel about uh, perimeter and area and composite shapes and regular shapes, okay? So we'll go in a little bit more detail there, so you can watch that one. But you can see I've worked it out. Now, some people can just see it and say, all right, well, I'm saying that's the same. So it must be 12 take away 4, which is 8, and that's 10 take away 3. So you don't have to draw those lines on, okay? But if you can't see and it's a little bit more difficult, draw the lines on. If you both get the right answer, it doesn't matter you both got the right answer, didn't you? Okay, it doesn't matter how you got it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another shape and I'm going to draw it a little bit bigger. And I want you to see if you can, um, firstly, work out the sides and then work out the perimeter. Okay, so let's go. Let's draw the shape. Okay, so I'm going to draw it a lot bigger this time. Okay, so this one I'm going to do in, let's say, feet. So uh, six foot is this side. Two foot, that side. Um, and obviously we know, we need to remember which unit that we are measured in. So we can put it on our answers here. But it's not going to affect how we work it out, is it? So, you need to work out for me. You need to work out A. You need to work out B. And you also need to work out, once you've got that, the perimeter. So, A equals, B equals, and then the perimeter. So, I'll just put P for perimeter. Okay? Give you a couple of, uh, give you a minute or so to have a go at that one. Start working out what A is first and B is because we need that for the perimeter. Okay, and then work out the perimeter for us. Thank you for letting me know that, Miss Carthy, about making the shape bigger. Starting to get some answers through there. Let's have a look here, see if we can. Well done, let's have a look freer. Well done, Amelie. Well done, Jasmine. Okay, I'm gonna start slowly working that out. You can still be putting your answers on there. Teachers, can you check in the chat? People are getting it right, give them a, a well done, things like that, just so we can get on there. So A, so let's work out A. So we know that A is here. So I'm looking at sides that are parallel to it. That's one point I'm looking at parallel lines, okay? So these sides here have nothing to do with me finding A because they are perpendicular. They're going there. So I'm looking for lines that are parallel. So if this line's going horizontal, I'm looking for all the other horizontal lines. They are what's going to help me find this. So I've got A here, okay? I know this full amount all the way across here is going to be 6, okay? But this bit here is going to be 3, okay? So if my full amount is six and I've already got three and I've already got three, what must I missing about me? What more do I need? I need another three foot, don't I? Okay. So well done for yours who got it. Okay. Miss Alison says she's very impressed. There must be loads of people getting it there. 
Now we're going to move on to B, and I'm looking for lines again that are parallel. So if it's going vertical, I'm looking for that other vertical lines to help me, okay? So I've got B here. So if I know this full amount here is five foot, so if I continue this imaginary line up, okay, I know that full amount there is five foot. Ooh. Mr. Biggins forgets how to write a lot of the time. Five foot all the way down there, isn't it, okay? But I know that this part here is two foot, okay? Because it's parallel, it's, uh, um, it's my rectangle, okay? So again, I can draw my little diagram. You don't have to draw this. You could do an addition, you do whatever. But for me, I think it really shows us what it is. So if I've got five foot there, and I'm using two, how many have I got left? It's three foot again, okay? So I'm gonna rub these off so they don't confuse us. Okay, and I'm going to write my sides on now, the three foot and three foot. And again, if I was on a paper, I would write the actual sides on where they go to help me. And then to make sure I've got all the sides, because it's not like a rectangle or a regular shape where they're all going to be the same, I'm doing multiplication, I'm going to have to count them all. I might put a little dot where I'm going to start to make sure I don't count any sides twice or miss any sides out. So six, seven, eight, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 23, 22, sorry, 22. Yeah, lots of people. Let's have a look, right, in 22 in there. Cameron, I can see. Um, Milo, Tom, um, Eleanor, Joyful. Loads of good answers there. It is 22 feet. So you can see how we can use that to work out our answers. So that's what we're gonna look, that's all we're gonna look at for composite shapes and perimeter today. Now what we're gonna do is we have looked at lots of things to do with 2D shapes, lots of polygons, lots of those type of uh, questions. And we looked at a lot of easy ones, but we haven't looked at any real problem solving and reasoning. And the question this week that I'm gonna give you, um, the worksheet that's been done kindly by Mrs. Carthy and Miss Allison, Okay, I'm going to have lots of problem solving questions on. So what we're going to do is we're going to work together through a few problem solving questions and I'm just going to work through them slowly. As I'm working through these questions, what I want you to do is in the chat, put down your answers, what you think the right answers are, what you think it is, um, um, how you worked it out, maybe different sides I asked, pop them down. Every now and again, I am going to check some of the answers, see how people are getting on. Okay. But I'm going to be slowly working through these to show you how to do them. Now, the questions I'm doing obviously aren't going to be the same as the ones on the worksheets, but they are going to be similar. So what I want you to do is think about how I'm working out in my head, what I'm using, how I'm using, what I'm giving to work it out. So today what we're looking at is our reason and problem solving skills, OK? Because I'm not going to teach you how to answer one question because that means you can only answer that one question. What we are looking at is being able to answer multiple questions, okay? So you're learning skills rather than the answer to one question of how to work them out. So don't be too focused on getting that right answer. If you get it and you can work it out, brilliant. But be focused on improving those problem and reasoning skills. Now I've got a grid up here and it's for a reason, okay? So I am gonna draw a rectangle on here. So you might get a question where you get, and I'll do it as thick as I can. Okay. Drawing a rectangle, and I'm going to draw. Oh, sorry. I'm going to draw a square, not a rectangle. So I've drawn a square, and I've drawn a line across there. So you might get a question like that, okay? We have a square with a line drawn across. Then what we might get is a shape drawn here. Okay. And in the question, it will tell us that this shape is made up from that one, okay? So we've cut those two out, and then we put it uh, together like this. And it might say, can you tell me what angle A is, okay? Now, again, like I said, I'll take a little break so you can have a chance to write down answers and things like that in the chat. 
but I'm just going to work through these questions slowly. Talk, listen to what I'm talking about. So I know that everything that the person who's given me this question is giving me it in order to try and help me answer the question. So I've got to think, why was my first shape drawn on a grid? Okay. Now, I know this part of the angle, don't I? I know this is a right angle. I'm going to draw that figure so you can see it on the top. I know that's a right angle. And I know that a right angle equals 90 degrees. But that's not my full angle, is it? It's only this part of it. It's not the full turn. So I need to know what this angle is here. Now, the reason that they drew it on a grid, that's what I've got to think. Why did they draw that on a grid? Now, they must have drawn it on a grid to show me that this line goes halfway through that square. So I know that this angle must be half of 90, okay? And half of 90 is 45, okay? So if I know that this angle here is 90 and this is 45, my full angle must be both of them added together. And I can see some answers, Mason, well done. Um, your boy Yeti, well done. It is 135 degrees, okay? So that's not asking you to guess that angle. Now, when you guess it, you could say, oh, well, it looks like it's 45 degrees. It has given us the answer here to show us what it is. And that will get you the answer of 135. Really well done for those putting answers up in there. So what, that skill there, we're using everything that we've given. We're not, they haven't given us that shape on a grid for no reason, so we are looking at that. Now, this is going to be one where there's going to be lots of answers. So if I draw a shape, I've got my piece of paper here because it's a nightmare to draw random shapes and things on the computer. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Just try and draw it best I can there. So this is a six-sided shape, okay? Well, I need these lines to go through each other. Okay, so you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit, okay? To... <laughs> To see these lines going through. I knew I should have drawn these before we came on, but I didn't want to spoil the surprise there. Good old Mr. B. So we have a six sided shape. Now we can see that it's not a regular shape. Okay, it's not a regular shape, so not all the angles are the same. Now let's say that we have a, all these angles have names and they're just going to have. F, um, G, H, I, J. Now, questions like this are going to ask us a specific answer, okay? They are going to ask us to use what we know in order... So we have lots of angles, A up to R, and that looks really, really complicated. And what this question will ask us is, what, um, what facts do we know? How many facts can we work out from what we know about shapes? Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples and then see if you can give me some examples in the chat as well. So here are going to be my answers. So if I look at this. I know that that's a straight line across there. So if this is a straight line, I know that angle F, A and B, fab, okay, they must equal 180 degrees, mustn't they? Because they're on a straight line, okay? So I might have a look, is there any other straight lines? Well, there's a straight line down here. So there's a straight line down here, then A, B, C. I know lines that are on a angles that are on a straight line are 180 degrees. Okay, if you're not sure about this, um, 
couple of lessons, it was the last lesson or the lesson before, we looked at angles and shapes and things, and we worked those things out, okay? So we know that those angles equal 180 degrees. So there's loads of other angles that we can make, not work out what the individual angle is, because it's not a regular shape, but we can work out what the sum of those angles would be, okay? So if you can think of any in the chat, pop them in. I'm going to keep my eye on it, but I'm going to be putting some on here, okay, as I go. Another thing I know, I know about triangles, don't I? What are the angles in a triangle add up to? 180 degrees again. So let's have a look. We've got lots of triangles here, haven't we? So I could give you lots of facts. I could tell you that angles C, K and L, if I added all those together, what would that equal? 180 degrees because they're in a triangle. Okay. I know that this part, by the way, I should mention at the start, these questions and things are a little bit harder. Okay. These questions are problem solving reasoning. But the reason I'm going through them, and I'm only looking for a couple of answers as we go in, because you might get questions like this, okay? Um, so we're looking at the skills to learn them. So I'm just going to go through a few different styles in order to help you out. So just listen. If you're really not sure, just listen to how I'm working it out. After the lesson, if you're still unsure, some of the questions go back. And remember, you can always ask them. So I know that those are 180 degrees, okay? Another thing as well, I've got a point here, haven't I? Okay? And all the angles round a point equal what? Okay, so it's going to be A to F, isn't it? So I could tell you A, B, C, D, E, F, F, sorry. I know that all the angles around the point equal 360 degrees. So I can tell you that fact as well. Okay. Oh, so thank you for that. Um, so I can tell you that's 360 degrees. Now, there's lots of other facts you can tell me about the straight lines. There's other ones there that you can tell me. There's lots of other triangles. So we've got C, K, L, but we can also see it that these angles, angle D, M and N, they must equal 180 as well. But there's another thing that we can work out as well. We can also work out what all of these angles around the outside are up to. Because we worked out last week how to find the sum of the interior angles of a shape. We remember, a quick recap if you didn't, it's the amount of sides, so we've got six sides, and we're going to take away two. So you, you get the amount of sides, and you take away two. So we've got four, and then you times that by 180. So you times that by 180. Um, four, sorry, four times 180, I'll just make sure there equals 720 degrees. So I now know that the angles all around the outside equals 720 degrees. So what angles would that be? Well, it would be H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. All those angles together would equal 720 degrees, okay? So questions like that might just ask you to find three facts that you know, things like that. That looks a really complicated question, but we're using what we have learned about the shapes in order to do it. So when we're in lessons and we're talking about shapes and the angles around the point and all those things, it might seem easy. Okay, well done, Cameron, there with the amount of share sides. Really well done. It might seem easy, but we use those skills to answer hard questions, okay? So you need to really concentrate and then green those um, skills inside in order to learn that. Okay, so... Let's have a look. I'm gonna just because we're running out of time, I'm gonna see which questions um are gonna help you the most. Okay. Let's have war Jeff and war Jimmy. Okay, so we're gonna have Jeff, and Jeff is gonna tell us something. So Jeff is going to say, um, I have a triangle. with one right angle and one 42 degrees angle. The missing angle must be 48 degrees. Then we've got War Jimmy, and War Jimmy is seeing, or Jimmy, I'm going to say Jimmy, as in Jimmy Cricket, 
Okay, so Jimny now um, has said the same thing. So he's going to say he has a triangle. I'm going to brief down what he's writing. Okay, he says he's going to have um, one angle is a right angle. So one right angle. 142 degrees angle, so they're the same as um, War Jeff. Um, my missing one must be. What did War Jimny say? Did it look 49 degrees? Now, you might get a question like that in a test, and it'll say who is right, but it will say who is right and why, okay? And you will normally get two marks. So tell us who is right, it's going to get you one mark, but you need to be able to explain and write down how that's right as well, why are they right. So what I want you to have a, do, uh, have a go at is in the chat, can you write down, I might start the next question on there, can you write down, please, who you think is right but can you explain why now people find it hard to explain why when they talk about math all you need to do is say because write down what you would say if i asked you why is he right write that down okay so in the chat i'm going to start doing when this is going to be the last question okay so in the chat can you tell me who is right and can you tell me why can you explain? If you don't know, okay, have a think about it. We are going to use what we've learned in our lessons in the last few online lessons to work out this answer. So it's not impossible. I haven't given you an answer that you can't work out. Okay. Can you work it out? What do you know about triangles? Okay. Think about the properties we looked at at triangles. If you know that about triangles, okay, then what can you work out using the information that they know now if i'm looking at this question okay i'm looking at triangles the important thing okay my right angle my 42 okay and then another color i'm going to underline the missing one must be 48 because this is the difference okay and this is what we're trying to prove so the both got the same triangle there, haven't they? The only difference is what they think the missing angle is. So that's what we're trying to test. One of them must be right. Maybe none of them are right. Okay. Maybe both of them could be right. But what is it you know about triangles? I'm going to check in the chat there because there's answers starting to come through. Well, done with it, saying the right um, name. Lots of people there. If you're unsure of how to explain, have a look at other people's corrections. Okay, well done Milo. Well done Joshua. Well done Jude mentioning there, okay. I'm going to sort of put all these answers together and put in what we know. So we've got the answers coming through. So it is Jeff, okay. Watch him, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Jeff is right, okay. If we've got a triangle, okay, this is a right angle. And this is 42 degrees. We're basically doing that question, isn't it? So if you're unsure, you can literally draw the question because if you got that, I know for a fact lots of you would have been able to get it right. Okay. Now, because of that, we know that Jeff's right, that this is 48 degrees. Okay, the only one degree out, so you can see Jimmy's close, but we're gonna need to explain why now. Now there's things that you need to mention in your answer, okay. You need to mention that you know the angle, so the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, okay? You need to say that because if we didn't know that, we wouldn't be able to work that out, okay? So the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So um, you might want to mention a right angle is 90 degrees. So 90 plus 42 is 132. And the missing angle must be 48 because that would add up to 180. Something like that. I've just talked about how I'm working out that answer, okay? A quick way to work out who is right could be a number bonds to 10. And this is why all the maths that you've learned from being really little in school up to now is important, okay? Because if I look at that, I know that 8 add 2 is 10, doesn't, isn't it? Okay? And I know that my answer is going to be 180, uh, 180 with a 0 on the end. If I look at this, 9 plus 2, 9 plus 2 is going to be 11, so that will be 181. 
So without working out the rest of them, I can quickly see that Jeff's going to be right and start working on the rest of the answer because of the other skills that I have learned. So that is our lesson to dear. OK, a little bit um, harder pick from some reading skills there at the end. But you all seem to do really well. Now, work for today to go along with the lesson is down in the Padlet. OK, so if you want to go and uh, check that out, get on with that work. There are problem solving skills, there are reason questions in there, perimeter questions using all the skills. So there's work from a day and there's also work for the rest of the week that will link all to this. So you can watch the video back again OK, sometime in the future and you say tomorrow or the day after and you're looking at it and you need a quick recap you can come back and watch the video if you need any help pop it in the comments pop it on the padlet send us an email on the padlet or we have my facebook instagram and twitter which is mr biggins one two three you can send them through to that um with my uh, students keep on mathletics okay like i say i'm going to be using some of your how well you've been doing on that to decide who's going to pick the next uh, TikTok dance and we'll keep you up to date. So keep up to date with that. Um, so really well done um, with all of your work today. OK, you work really well. I'm seeing the chat from the comments from the teachers and stuff. You've been working well. Again, remember um, when you are finished your work or maybe straight away before I do it, give us some rough song requests for Friday, please. OK, pop them in the comments, send them to my different social accounts. Um, and we will make sure we really, really enjoy and have a great day on Friday. So send us those through because at the minute it looks like the parents are getting more in than the children. So if you want some of your, as you would call it, good music on, good music, okay, send them in so we will get them on, okay. Um, apart from that, thanks very much. I'm going to stay around for five minutes or so. This is the part where my head goes down there and it looks like I'm just on. Then lots of people pop in and go, what's happening? Why is it just a head there? Um, but I'm going to be answering your chat and comments and stuff like that if there's anything that you don't understand. The questions are a bit harder. There are problem solving. There are reason this week. So again, those social accounts and the Padlet, myself and all the other teachers um, are there in order to help you out. Okay. Um, I can watch the chat now, so thank you for all the teachers for moderating. Um, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. I'll keep up to, uh, to date with that so you can get on with whatever you need. Um, let's see what you see in the chat. Right, uh, I'm just going to change over the Padlet web addresses because it looks like they are a little bit off like yesterday so if you give me two seconds i'm going to pop them in the chat for you So I'll put the year six Padlet in there. Now let's get the year five one. Do, 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 do. And fourth of May. And I will change the description on the video. So if you're watching this video back, they should already be sorted. I'll sort those on as soon as they are done. Year five. Uh, so both Padlets are in the chat. Uh, if you need them, you can scroll up or down to get to them. Um, and I will change them in the description. I don't know whether I'll do that now. As soon as the video is finished, I'll uh, uh, change them in the description. Um, you're welcome, Joyful. See you later. Amelia, art is going to be, oh, quick recap there, uh, pick this one there. Art lesson, guys, is going to be on Thursday afternoon, but you need a few extra things. You need some toilet roll um, tubes. You need some um, glue or some masking tape. I'm putting them on, the stuff that you need on my Twitter, on my Facebook. I'm going to keep putting those up every day. Make sure you get those stuff before Thursday or you'll not be able to do the lesson. Okay, it's a really cool lesson. We're making a like, sort of 3D thing. Um, so if you are thinking of coming, get those stuff, okay, really, uh, obviously you need it. 
if you can't get them for Thursday, obviously you can watch the lesson again and do it then. But um, thank you for asking Amelia. Well done, Shikari. Uh, Shikari. See you later. Bye, Emily. What an Amelia washing your hands there. See you later, Emily. See you later, Amelia. Right, guys, I'm going to go because I'm a bit early than normal, but there's nothing too many questions in there. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming along. Um, I need to do a couple of things after this lesson quite quickly, so I need to get off. Um, so thanks a lot for coming along. Again, comments, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and the Padlet if you need any help. Loads of different ways to get in contact with us. Hope we can help you. All right, see you later. Uh, tomorrow tomorrow morning, we have a really cool lesson. We have science. We're going to link in with our topic as well. Okay, so we're doing our new science topic. We're looking at space. And we're also going to be looking at Tim Peak as well. Um, as part of our people who change the world, okay? So, thanks for coming along. See you tomorrow.